<laughs> oh, what the man they did is I want to see the president make the last step. Alright. You are the president? Yeah. yeah. James Close. Davis. Close. Close. You remember Close. me, sir? Yeah. Let me first of all thank you. Thank God, thank you for what you have done for me, Mr. President. The house. Thank you for the I drop and the doxosin that you gave me for one year's service. Thank you that when I go now, you said that I should not wait. I go to NIS, I go to the hospital, and I do not wait because you see the president said he should not wait. Let me thank you much for the house for one thing for you. It's only that if you could have come to the house to see this house and what I'm living in. And we never talk it among people. But thank you for the house. We far better off to do than I was before. But in the house, I have some issues. Talk about it. I mean, you need to tell them to check the promises. I have a lot of issues. Hey, man, hey! This man is a president. And he a. Oh, God. He well, oh, sorry, I'm not going to speak. You're dead in the wrong side. Thank you, sir. So, please, you to Hi, good morning, comrades. Let me say we are happy to be here and the president is in New Amsterdam and he asked us to do an outreach in Kanji here today. He's passing and he stopped impromptu. So let us welcome our president to Kanji. Let me introduce the president to speak to you a little. Uh, Mr. President. Thank you very much. I have a president and so be here with me. Basically, we are just passing through communities. As you know, one of the important things that we've been doing as a government is listening to people, listening to their concerns, and ensuring that we put measures in place through which we can work on your ideas and work on your concerns. In Region 6, we've invested tremendously, whether it's roads, community roads, the main roads, Port facility, the development that is coming at Palmyra, drainage, agriculture, health, education, supporting the vulnerable, supporting young children, supporting young people. And what do you see? Because of this investment and investment across the board, supporting every single community, we are seeing more and more people coming on board supporting the development of Diana, the development of their communities, and the development of their families. And that is what we want. We want to build societies, communities, and a country through which families can see themselves better, families can see themselves more integrally involved in what is happening. Where communities become more integrally involved in the decisions that they make and the priorities that they have for their own communities. In this region too, we're doing a number of community parks. So today is another one of those days where we are listening. It is not me coming here to give you long speeches, but it's me coming here to interact with residents and to listen to you, to hear you. Because we know the billions of dollars that we're spending must have a positive impact on your lives must create improvement. So why don't you tell us about the type of impact these projects and programs is having on your lives. We also want to hear from you as to what you think we should do further, what you see as the priorities, especially as we are approaching this new era of local government. We want to know what are the priority areas that the local leaders, the region, the NDC should focus on, what we should have the Ministry of Local Government working with the NDC on, so that at your street level, 
This is how we are thinking about development. Not only interested in the big things, but very much interested in the small things. What happens in your street? What happens in your road? What happens, happens in your community? So I am very pleased to be here this morning to discuss this with you, to listen to you, and to see how we can respond. Minister and Darren Zulfi are here. They are going to take detailed notes and then we're going to develop an action plan as to how we'll work with the community. We can't do everything at the same time. Right? No, no, no. But if there are key priorities that the community would like to see done, then we want those things uh, to be done. We want you to ensure that you're involved, that you continue to participate, that you have embrace up in this development. We are building partnership all across the country. And that is what we want. We want our communities to embrace the partnership embrace the development with the government so that together we can build stronger communities. Together we can break, build a development program that is responsive to your priorities and your needs. So that is what I'm here for today, just stopping by to listen to you. So now I'll just open the floor in a very order, orderly manner. Now, one second please. If there are any persons here with private problems, individual issues, I have two staff, Nalini and Dwayne, you can put your, put your hands up. They are going, you're going to go to them and they will take down your details. They are going to take down all your details in terms of your personal issue. We are dealing, I want to hear from you about your community concerns, your community issues. So we'll now open up to hear from you so I can understand what are some of your priorities and your issues. Yes, I am one of the founders of the Let's start with this one right here. Well, President, well, this is now like this. In this community, we have a lot of problems. But very important problems I want to raise with you, Brother President. But before I do so, you have made a promise yeah. that when you are going with the government, we will make sure you go to every community. And I want to commend you. And so my first one I want to raise is that we haven't flooded for the longest while. But the flood that we had last week was the greatest of all. And I think that our train needs to be active after. We have the people working, the private and the people. They will shift work and they will go through the drain. But we have a drain at the back, which are the cut up really, right? So you can the small drains in one can go out. So what we need, we need an engineer to go and survey the whole area and make sure that the drain is done properly. People come, they will come once in a while. But we need a professional man to go around and see how the drain can be looked after.